I'm joined this morning by Professor Kate Leslie from the Royal Melbourne Hospital and Chair of the Clinical Trials Network. Good morning, Kate. Uh, you're heading up the uh, Clinical Trials Network Breaking Trials session this morning. Could you give us a bit of a run through of what to expect? Uh, I can't tell you the results because it's the Breaking Trials session and we're going to find out for the first time today. We've got three speakers. Jenny Weller from Auckland is talking about simulation research. Uh, we've got Ed O'Loughlin from Perth who's talking about dexamethasone and surgical site infection. And we have Tom Painter from South Australia who's talking about tranexamic acid and bleeding after major joint surgery. So they're really three big hot topics and uh, we'll find out great information to guide our practice this afternoon. Okay, the Clinical Trials Network uh, continues to have a, an increasing influence and impact on international research. Uh, could you give us an update on some of the, the current multinational uh, randomised control trials that the that network, network is involved in? The network's got five uh, international trials going at the moment. Uh, we've finished uh, recruitment for the relief study and just about finished uh, long-term follow-up. That one's uh, intravenous fluids. Uh, we're nearly finished the balance study, that's deep versus light general anaesthesia. Uh, we've got the PADI study, which is roaring along, that's a dexamethasone and uh, surgical site infection. We've just started ITAX, which is uh, intravenous iron and cardiac anaesthesia. And then finally, we're just getting started with ROCKET which is ketamine and post-operative pain. And all of these trials have been funded by NHMRC and other international grant bodies, and they're being supported by ANSCA fellows through their subscriptions and the ANSCA Foundation, uh, which I'd like to give a, a big round of thanks to from the, the Clinical Trials Network. Great. Uh, so, Kate, you're speaking a bit further, uh, later on in the program on growing research leaders of the future. Uh, what are some of the factors that will help some of our growing leaders in the, in the future get a head start? We've got uh, a lot of programs in the CTN and in the college to help emerging research leaders. Uh, scholarships for higher degrees, encouragement to do masters training, mentorship programs. But the, the thesis of my talk is that, that we need to do more and in particular uh, research leaders of, of the present need to create space for emerging leaders to shine. They need to make sure that they promote emerging leaders to give talks at conferences, to be able to write papers, uh, to be the first uh, person, the first investigator on international grant applications. That, that kind of thing. I think we need an increased spirit of generosity in, uh, in the upper echelons of anaesthesia research. Uh, Kate, finally, the Clinical Trials Network meeting is coming up a bit later on in the year. Uh, what does the meeting involve and uh, what can we expect this year? Well, it's a great meeting. It's held in Sydney uh, in Coogee, but a really casual atmosphere. Uh, people come and, and pitch uh, anaesthesia research to the, to the group and get uh, peer-reviewed feedback. It's, it's rapid fire. It's sort of a speed dating for multi-centre trial researchers. Uh, and we also have keynote speakers. We have a great speaker about uh, international cardiology trials and then we always have a nerdy statistician kind of thing happening as well because we all just love stats. So it's a great uh, weekend. It's a good uh, refresher for people who want to find out what's going on and great for emerging researchers. Great, thanks very much Kate. Thank you.